Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you guys. So, as you can see from this package, it says Palafull Packs, Creativity in a Box. This is a art subscription um, box that you can, you guys can subscribe to. You can get it um, every month or you can do a subscription for uh, a year, three months, so on and so forth. You guys can also send these as gifts. Um, I've seen a lot of art boxes and I was not interested in any of them until I saw a review on this one. This one looked really interesting to me. Um, so basically, like I said, it's art supplies delivered to you monthly. They'll send you hand-picked selections of art supplies ranging from pens to paints every month. So what I like about this one is that they have a box for young artists and they have a premiere box, which I think is really cool that they have. Um, the young artist box for kids or even teenagers or what have you um, So basically these art supplies they say that they're ideal for beginners professional or anyone in between So if there's any I know there's a lot of beginner artists that follow me and there's a lot of professional and so on and so forth So this is good for any level any skill level that you are on These would be good. So for the prices. I just want to tell you guys the prices for a young artist, the box started at $29.95 a month. So if you buy a couple months, you get it a little bit more cheaper. Um, also, they have the Premier Pack and it is $34.95 a month. So for the Premier Pack, if you buy it month to month, it's $34.95. If you do a three month prepay, it'll be $99.95. And so on and so forth. For a year, it's three hundred forty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. So yeah, um, Jeff was so nice to send me this package to review for you guys. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get on with this. So this is the box. Got a really cute sticker here. I didn't open it yet. I just cut this off right here to save time, so I don't struggle with it on camera. It's a really nice size. Cool. Guys, excuse my kids. They're right here. They wanna they've been waiting, dying for me to open this package. And my baby's in the background screaming as usual. Do that for me. So we got this cute little packaging, twisty, whatever. Nice. This is called. What are these called? These are from Holland. Bruns Zeal. Guys, I don't want to butcher this. But these are, look like some color pencils. So, what looks like some color pencils here. A package of 24. We've got some Stratmore color pencil paper. 30 sheets. And this is cool because I've never tried color pencil paper before. Can you go get that from him? Hopefully I don't have to re-record this video. So I'm not sure what this package is they sent me. I don't know if it's the kids or the premiere. Oh wow, we got some good stuff in here. We've got this mono sand eraser from Tombow for ink. So this erases ink. Cool. Made in Japan. We've got this Derwent Burnisher. Oh, I'm excited about this because I don't have a burnisher. I showed you guys a video on doing color, drawing with color pencils, blending with them. Here's a Derwent Blender. Nice. Oh, I've seen this one. This looks interesting to me. What is this called? Germany Perfection Fabric Castell. Um, I don't know. I think it's a burnisher too, and it's the or it's an eraser. I don't know. Might be an eraser. And then a Prismacolor Perrier Colorless Blender. Um, if you guys watch my video, I showed, I showed you guys how you can use a colorless blender to blend with colored pencils. So yeah, that's everything in this box. I wish this one would have sent a little paper or something so I can get some more information. But nonetheless, I am grateful. So that's a really nice amount 
of items. Well, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of art. Put it back. These kids are going to go crazy with this. these papers. I already know they're going to be all over my house. So let me open this open this package. Twenty four colors here. Looks like a cool range in the back. There's like no English. Oh, there is this. A maid servant pours milk entirely absorbs in her work, except from the stream of milk. Everything else is still. Vermeer took his simple everyday activity and made it the subject of an impression, an impressive painting. The woman stands like a statue in a brilliant lit room. Vermeer also had an eye for how light by means of hundreds of colorful dots play over surface of objects. Okay. Oh, these look nice. So let's do some swatches. And I can tell you guys some first impressions of these color pencils. I'm excited about this paper. I never had colored pencil paper. And Stratmore is the bomb. I enjoy Stratmore and I enjoy Kansas paper. Alright, so let's do some swatches for you guys. So I'm going to start off light. I'm going to start off dark. And then I'll go to light. So they don't have the colors on here. But that's alright. That's a really pretty peachy color. Oh, I like that color. What do you think, Amaya? My daughter was all excited for me to try these. I don't know. I want to guess and say that this is the the kids one, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. But personally, from the prices, um, so just by you getting the kids one does not stop them from sending you these type of brands, from what I could tell. I would honestly just get the Premier Pack because it's only like, what, about $5 more. And I believe you will probably get a little bit more. You would get more, um, a little bit more supplies than the kids one, maybe. But again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I have to check that out. If anyone's interested, comment below, and I'll find out an answer for you. This is a really pretty sea foam color. So after I swatch these for you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to um probably do a time lapse drawing to show you these in action. Did I skip the wrong one? Yeah. Let me do this one. Why did you do that? This is a pretty navy one. I really like this. These colors are really pretty. Oh, look at that color. Beautiful. I'm not sure. It's like a magenta. It looks like a pink. So it's like a lilac. Got white. Nice color range, I think. These two look kind of similar. Let's see. There's that one. Got it, baby. These look really similar. This one's got a little bit more brown tone to it. Got black. 
He's making that noise with his mouth. He's spitting. Alright. It's like a burnt. These look kind of similar the, from the packaging, but they are different. Don't touch. Alright, so let's. Um, I'm interested in this eraser for ink. They didn't send us any ink to try to erase it with. But let me try to mix two colors. Blend two colors together. Let's do these two. Let's switch these. Um, hmm. Let me just draw a circle. So I'm applying medium pressure. All right, let's see how. Mm. So here's a Derwent blender. There's two Derwent blenders. Well, this one's a burnisher. Hmm, let's see. I don't know if you guys are catching that on camera. Yes. There's that one. And then here. There's a burnisher. All right. I'm not sure what this is. Well, I guess it's the burnisher too. And you use this to sweep away the flyaways. That's cool. Um, let's do another co color combo. Huh? Yeah, it's probably gonna happen. My daughter was saying that. Some of the colors stuck on the pencil. So let's do these two colors together. We got that. Let's just put it right next to each other like that and see if they blend. So this Prismacolor one has a bullet, small bullet tip. And then a bigger... I don't know. I think it's a brush tip. It looks like a brush tip. Oh, that blends nicely. Guys, always clean off your... My baby's going nuts. Always try to clean off your... Marker. But yeah, guys, so this is everything that came in the box. Guys, check out this um, company, Palletful Palettes. The website is palletfulpacks.com. www.palletfulpacks.com. So guys, check it out. I'm going to, um, again, leave a time lapse, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright guys, so this is what I drew. It was just a quick little sketch. And I used the color pencils. And I just used the Prismacolor Premier Colorless Blender with this. I didn't really use these because I was just trying to hurry up. But I think that these color pencils are really nice. They're very pigmented. Um, to use a burnisher and a blender, I would... 
layer a lot more colors. This is just like a quick little layering. It's not even like a couple of layers. It's really just like maybe two. So I didn't really pack it in really good. I was trying to be kind of quick and get all the stuff done quickly. Um, but yeah, guys, I really, really like this box. Um, I think that it's a really good box for anyone who wants to try new art supplies out. Anyone who loves art supplies like myself. Um... What I like is that you never know what you're going to get. You know, I go to the store and I can pick out what I want. But, you know, with the subscription box, it's like a big surprise. And, you know, um, you can be introduced to some things that you've never, you never would have thought of buying or whatnot. But, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if anyone wants to see maybe a tutorial or something on how you use these blenders, these burnishers and stuff. Let me know. And um, let me just use this eraser really quick because I have not used it. Let's see if I can make some highlights. Okay. That eraser is pretty good without damaging the paper too much. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I highly recommend the subscription box for anyone who loves art supplies and wants to try something new and different. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.